There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world And what's up, Bebo? So, you guys, today's video is going to be an affordable 360 lace wig from a company called MyCheekWigs.com. I will leave all of the information down below for you guys. And yes, we're going to jump right into this. First of all, I want to say thank you to Kichi Culture for this amazing head wrap. If you guys are interested, I also hopefully remember to link the information below where you can get these beautiful head wraps from. Um, first of all, let me tell y'all, this is my first real authentic head wrap like you guys know i love wearing the head wraps but the ones that i always purchase are like either from the thrift store the 99 cent store like a walmart so they're not like durable stiff thick material so this one is it's an afro eccentric accessory so that is what they specialize in and there is a 15 percent off code that you can use so make sure you jump onto their website it is a new business and it is owned by a young lady who is one of my subscribers. And she did surprise me in my PO box with two of these lovely head wraps that I did showcase in my real talk and also one of my product review videos. So with that being said, make sure you check her out at Kishi Culture. You can also follow her on Facebook and Instagram as well. So MyChicWigs.com did send me one of their 360 lace frontal units and so it is 18 inches and it's loose weight 150 percent density and it's a middle size cap so it's just the average stock size wig the unit is also pre the unit is also pre-plucked that way if you're not into just like pre-plucking or customizing it you can definitely just put it on as is but do a little bit extra i did put some bleach to the knots as well as that is i did pre-tweeze some of the knots or just the hairs in the frontal portion so that way it'll lay a little bit flatter and it'll also look more natural. Um, the baby hair is also done together on the hairline and it does come with light bleach knots, which is also another advantage as well as this will also save you time from doing it on your own. It also comes with combs and an adjustable strap and I'll definitely post and show you guys that as well. It's just a basic black box and it does have their name on it, an elastic band, which I didn't put in because the, the wig actually fit really snug. And there's also two little hair ties inside of here, like two little scrunchy hair ties. And there is one of these great fishnet weaving caps or fishnet weaving or wig caps. I like these in the summertime because they are so breathable. But because I'm going to put on a 360 and you're going to be able to see through it, I just have them on my regular. You also do get some of these foam flexi type rods. And also you do get a comb for parting. So now this is the wig right here. Like I said, it's a 360. There are combs in the unit right here in the front. And also there is the adjustable strap and a comb in the nape area. And it does have like a lot of stretch, but they did do good quality on this. They did a really great job. It is a loose wave. It actually was more loose or more wavy. And none of the hair fell out and the hair shed once I bleached it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut the lace off of this unit. Now that I have it all tight, I'm not even going to use the combs. However, their combs are situated pretty well because they're not even by the temples right here. They seem like they, or they look like they go back further. So we're about to see about that. So we're going to jump right into this. It may be a voiceover in some portions, but I'll definitely put up little notes so that way you can read and see what I'm doing. Um, but it's just the normal. You guys already know what it is. And I'm probably just, I'm probably just going to style this. For you guys, we're going to jump right into this. So this is the Pump It Up Gold Super Hold. There are two formulas. There's regular hold and super hold. I have been using this stuff for years. I'm just going to spray some on my wig cap and blow dry it so that way the wig cap kind of like molds to my head and doesn't move around. I have been using Pump It Up for years, like seriously years. It works as a glue. Like it's not going to give you any type of messy residue. The most you have to do is just clean up a little bit of the shine if you do spray some on your skin. But if I had to choose between Got To Be and Pump It Up, I would definitely use the um, pump it up by all means so I'm just going to situate the wig here you guys know how I do it I'm not gonna do a full voiceover but you know I'll come in from time to time and check you guys um, as I'm doing right here is I'm just making some baby hairs I'm not going to use all of the hair I'm going to just kind of like push some back you know what I mean I'm not gonna use all of it 
but I mean, if you want to make baby hairs, that's up to you. But the hairline is really good on this wig. I did tweeze like a little bit of it, but it's thin at the hairline. It was already pre-bleached at the hairline. You know what I mean? It was pre-plucked at the hairline too. And they did a really good job. So it makes less work for me when I did pre-tweeze it. You know, but I just like to kind of like customize and make it my own. So as you guys seen, I did twist the hair around with the prior to me cutting the baby hairs because I don't want them all even you don't you don't want like a blunt cut so I do kind of like twist them and right here I'm just measuring to see where I want the actual sideburns to stop at. so you know I just wouldn't suggest I'm not using like a, a pair of scissors to cut your baby hairs because then it's like a blunt cut unless you kind of like twist them and it's kind of like the angle so you see I got all of my edge brushes here this brown one is the one that I just got and I'm like, I'm not really knowing how I feel about it, so I'm probably am going to switch it up in the video. I can't remember, but you know, I try to use new things and switch it up. But I mean, like I said, if it ain't broke, honey, don't fix it. But I do like the spatula end on the back of it, so it makes, you know, me not having to touch it so much. But you can always use the back of the brush. So I'm just going to take my favorite Dollar Tree mousse and just put it on the edges and brush the mousse back into the hair. I'm just doing this to sculpt the hair and also to sculpt the baby hairs and also to kind of like wet in the lace a little bit so that way when it comes time to lay it down, honey, I'm laying it down. So yeah, the, this edge control brush is alright. It has a comb and a brush on one side and then it has like a spatula. I think it has to do with the handle size like the handle is very thin so it's kind of hard for me to grip onto it so that's the reason why I'm holding it like so I wish it was a little bit thicker um a thicker handle that way I would be a lot more comfortable with it but I mean you know it serves the purpose it's all right it's all right it's all right um but yeah I like this wig it's cute I like the fact that it was already done for me so we're just gonna go ahead on as you guys see here, I'm just going to make a little bit of baby hairs. I'm trying to make them look as natural as possible. If you don't want them to be stuck to your head, which I really don't like them being all stuck on my head like that, then by all means, just sculpt them down first and then take like the back of the rat tail comb, like the end of the rat tail comb, and just pull them up and then, you know, you're good to go. But I definitely don't like baby hairs right there in the front of my forehead. Like, I can't do baby hairs right there. Like, that's just doing too much. I just can't do it. The size is enough for me. I can't take it. Now I'm going to use the pump it up. I'm not going to spray the pump it up on the actual baby hairs. I'm just spraying it on the lace right there and just rubbing it in just gently into the lace so that way when it's time to blow dry, it will be on the lace. I mean, if you get some on the baby hairs, no big deal because, you know, of course I do have some on here, but I'm not really directing. You want to make sure you take your blow dryer and blow dry it on cool. Or you can put a head scarf on too, but I prefer to use a blow dryer because if you wear a head scarf, it kind of like mashes down the hair and then you got to brush it back up. It just does too much. So, and plus, it dries faster with a blow dryer. And I like to be able to just get it going and move it along. Plus, I think that it dries better and it just allows the um, hairspray and the mousse to really interact, you know. So, I will dry it on cool and then I'll do medium heat as well. Now, I'm just brushing through it and I'm just going back with the back end up or the nozzle part of the blow dryer and smoothing down my hair in the front. This makes my processing time a lot easier versus me having to use a hot comb all the time. Um, the blow dryer nozzle will work definitely for sure. And if you don't have a nozzle for your blow dryer you can always use like a comb or I would just I wouldn't use the comb teeth I would use like the back of the comb to smooth it down. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the next side.
okay you guys so look how this wig parts and this was just for me bleaching it like i said they did free bleach it but only in the front area and it wasn't really a lot for me so i wanted to really get in and just really bleach it and it came out so nice none of it shed you know what i'm saying i really do like how it turned out so the hair is nice quality it's affordable you know what i mean i think you'll get like a decent wig okay so i would say give them a try i have tried so many different wig vendors but you know I like this one. This one came out. So now for the wax stick, which controls flyaway hairs and also helps tame the hair when you want to use like a heating tool, like a hot comb or a flat iron. I'm just going to hot comb it down right here so it lays a lot flatter. You guys are probably like, well, girl, why you use the nozzle of your blow dryer? Well, yeah, I could do that, but it doesn't get it like sleek, sleek like this, honey. You know? Just be careful you don't burn yourself. I have already. Not during this video, but doing a couple videos I mean they do get hot this doesn't get as hot as I would like for it to but I mean I guess it serves the purpose I just don't really like the teeth in this book this I'm hot on I don't know and I don't like where the power button is at either I'm just going to smooth down the edges you want to make sure you're not tucking too hard because it's just hairspray I mean wearing the hairspray method like I use it will last for me like oh god one time it lasted like for like five days. And the only thing I had to retouch up was my little sideburn hair. It's sideburn hair is only because it was a little bit loose. But other than that, it was good. And now you guys already know my favorite wand system, which is by Irresistible Me. I'm just going to curl it up real quick and sing some songs for you guys. I'm not really singing some songs for you guys, but you know, sing along with some songs. So enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll see you guys towards the end. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look of this hair from My Chic Wigs. I do like it. It came out nice, okay? I really was not um, going to style it like this. I, you know what? To be honest, I really didn't know how I was going to style it. I just put it on and just styled it, and, you know, that's about it. This is 18 inches. It's silky. It was easy to curl. And I just went ahead and used all of my tools and just made it look as natural as possible. I didn't really want too many baby hairs. So if you don't want a lot, that's your preference. Um, or if you do want a lot, then that's your preference. Also, you know, it's up to you how you style them. Sometimes I just pick them up like because they get hard from just blow drying them. 
I just pick them up like until then they're soft again, you know what I mean? So that way they're not like all stuck to my head and stuff like, you know. And some of them, like, see, these are really not stuck down. I try to avoid sticking them down. Maybe on like the sides right here, this is where I mostly focus on making sure that it lays down. So that way the wig is flat. But for the most part, it's really cute hair. It's only 18 inches, which is great. You can definitely put this up in like a ponytail if you wanted to because it's a 360, but I'm not gonna do that because I really don't want to ruin the style that I put in the unit. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And on that note, I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Oh, wait. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and family on social media. And on that note, I love you guys and I'll see you on a very soon to come video. Probably tomorrow, you know.